In this follow-up video, I'm going to walk through setting up this X-ProHeli XP2 with Eterna G9X and be able to fly it in GPS attitude mode with the NASA Multirotor V2 flight controller. So I'm going to start with the Eterna G9X base configuration. So you can see we have Model 1. I'm going to go in and change the stick settings to Mode 2 so that will put our throttle on the left. And then I'm going to hit exit because we don't want to throttle reverse. Exit out of that. I'll pull out the NASA LED and programming port. I'm going to go ahead and plug this little micro USB cable in here and the other end into my MacBook. With transmitter turned on, we're going to go ahead and power up the XP2. Okay, the NASA assistant is fired up. This is the main view. We're going to go over to basic and RC and we're going to calibrate our transmitter sticks so you can see inputs moving around I'm going to go ahead and click start I'm just going to move my sticks in every direction as well as my aileron and elevator okay and then I'm going to go ahead and click finish and we'll see this little pop up and then let's take a look our sticks look pretty good so I'm going to go throttle all the way up rudder aileron elevator and those come back to center and stay green so transmitter calibration looks good in your aircraft tab you want to make sure you have quad rotor x we have our motor directions as we defined earlier m1 2 3 and 4 props spinning the right way now we're going to set our gps mounting location so really in the xy direction we're okay because we have it centered right on the cg of the craft but the z we mounted the gps on its stand so i measured that already that's 120 millimeters from center of gravity and now green actually represents a negative direction so in the negative z direction that 120 millimeters comes out to minus 12 centimeters and then i'm going to hit enter to save that setting so now our gps location is set Okay, so the last thing we need to do to be able to fly the X-Pro Heli with the NASA V2 is calibrate our GPS and compass. So you'll notice that right here we have it set, the control mode switch set to GPS, and I have this configured, wired from channel 5 on my receiver to the U port on the NASA. And what we're going to do with this is just use it to enter GPS calibration mode. We're going to power down the X-Pro Heli, remove the programming cable, and we'll put this programming port back in its place. Okay, now I want to demonstrate how to get into GPS calibration mode, and then I'll show you how to do the actual calibration by rotating your quad. So we'll start with turning on our transmitter, and you'll notice I have the LED on top just so that you can see it. I'm going to go ahead and power up the quad. And so we'll let it come up and then with the gear switch we'll wait for that initialization sequence i'm going to go ahead and toggle back and forth until we see that led go constant now it's in gps calibration mode and i'll show you what to do next okay now our led is constant i'm going to spin like this and it's going to go green and then we're going to go nose down and see that it's still green and then when it's done, it's going to go back to the initial LED sequence. Now, if you do see it flashing red quickly, that means that it's not complete. And then you'll have to repeat the sequence. Okay, after GPS calibration, we're now back on the bench. Now that everything's been successful, we should be able to arm. And give it a little throttle. Now, you do notice, you do hear a bit of squeaking. I hope that's not a motor issue maybe it's just because there's no load on these motors I'm gonna go ahead and mount the props then we'll just do a quick uh, garage maiden hover okay our props are balanced and mounted these are APC 10 by 4 7 props and let's just quickly check the motor rotations and they all look like they're spinning in the right direction okay now normally I cheat this a little bit when I do videos I'll, I'll have actually taken it up for a garage maiden but i've not taken this in the air yet so uh, let's see what happens so i'm going to arm 
Now as you know with nozzle you got to get to about 50% throttle before you can start to see the motors accelerate. Nice. Wow. Very steady. Very, very steady. Since I'm in the garage, you can see that red LED blinking, so we don't have full satellite view. But wow, that handled really well. So NASA, of course, makes it really easy when you're flying in attitude mode, but tomorrow when it's daylight out, I'll take it out back and we'll do a GPS attitude mode and get it a little bit higher and see how it flies. So that was a demonstration of how to set up your NASA V2, calibrate your transmitter sticks, your GPS, and then our garage maiden. So very straightforward and I hope this video was useful. Until the next flight, thanks for watching.